Carina's new bipolar battery. I'm going to assemble back. The battery is facing, <laughs> facing up at the moment. And then of course, this is the, let me see, the positive terminal. The positive terminal completely uncovered. I'm going to put this main plate. It goes right here, it only goes in one single position. So let me see, there should be no mistake. Yeah, that's it. Now, I'm coming with the positive, with the positive terminal. <laughs> you won't believe how this goes. Let's see, let me put it in. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. All right, now that I place it in, there's absolutely no contact here. I can turn this. But I am so amazed how heavy this is. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, let me see, let me see. Yeah, this is the main terminal. Let's see, main terminal. Main terminal is in its position, the main positive terminal. And this is the main negative terminal. All these uh, pins are fine. I'm gonna put the main upper cover. This is what separates high voltage from the chassis ground. How about that? Uh, besides that, this was actually dirty. Very dirty indeed. All right, I'm gonna put the... So, the cells are heavy. This, look, look how rough this material is. Super heavy. Okay, let me place it in. Let me show you the step-by-step -step process to assemble back the battery. There you go, that's it. Now, there is, should be no voltage here, so it's fine. Now I'm gonna place these pillars. Each one of them goes in this position. I'm gonna put it one by one. All right, here we go. One, two, Supposed to enter with absolutely no problem. I believe this is a very rudimentary design. What do you think? Uh, Samir, what do you think of this design? Uh, no comment. Huh? No comment. No comment. I mean, it because probably because this battery is, a, is, is something, is a, is a new design. I'm wondering. The package neatly. It's weird, but. That's how it is now. Okay, so this one goes in the right a second. That's it. It's because there's an air thing go that um, um, takes the air inside this 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 direction. That's the one that keeps the air from coming out. Sensors, they only go in one single position. That's it. This is how they go. Pay attention because this is also for you. Right. That's it. There you go. That's it. Yes. One of the, the other cables that goes here. I really hope the battery computer survive, you know. Really hope, but I'm not sure. This is going back in the vehicle. Hmm? It's going back into the vehicle. It's going back in the vehicle, yes. 
So it was, it was, yeah, it was terribly connected indeed. That's a fact, but what I'm hoping is that because they connected a 30 volt power source to the temperature sensor, to the temperature, <laughs> to the temperature sensor reading of the computer. That's what I'm hoping that something that operated like five volts. They put it's, it to yeah. <laughs> so I really hope nothing happened. Okay, so we're going to connect the main unit, which is the blue, blue temperature sensor, white, white temperature sensor. This one, it's a voltage sensor because it's in orange. And look and look, it goes. Now this was the problem. The problem is this was connected here and this was here. So this is a temperature sensor that goes in this cable. This is voltage sensor, 30 volt, 30 volt, 30 volt. And this is how it goes. This is how it's supposed to be. So we understand orange, 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 plus these two, plus these two as well. This one coming this, uh -huh. this one coming in this direction, or something like this, something like this, probably. You see? Uh -huh. There you go. This is supposed to go in this position. That should be it. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Next step is And that should be it. The next step is the battery junction box. That goes in here, pointing directly all this bunch of cables. That's it. Positive. This is the current sensor, and this is the intake air temperature sensor, right? This is it, and that's it. This is how we finish to install Toyota's new bipolar battery.